Hello everyone, I'm David Guerrero and welcome back to another video here on Many Ways Films. It's been a while since I talked to you guys, made a video like this, and I'm pretty excited to be back. I went on two trips and I've been a little bit busy lately um, with, a, with a little bit of work. Some of it has been video and some of it has been pictures and that's a little bit or no. That's what I want to talk about today. The Nikon camera is what I primarily use. I use it as my A camera. I have I have this um, other camera right here that it's actually pretty good. The, the camera is just the cube. Uh, what's back here is the battery and then, you know, the lens. You have to put a monitor on top of it and uh, that's about it. I also put a microphone on it and even that that's a really nice camera and I pr primarily shoot video when I get wedding jobs and stuff like that. I treat my Nikon camera as my A camera and that other camera the C cam as my B camera. I really like both videos. Uh, the other camera it's more it, it has more dynamic range and it has a, a different way on how to how it um, interprets colors and that's the thing Nikon has been the camera that I have used since I started anything it was my first DSLR when I was trying to figure out my first DSLR camera it was mostly between Canon and Nikon Sony wasn't even an option. I mean, I'm talking about 2013, around that time, maybe maybe even 2014. And Sony wasn't what it is today. I mean, it was a pretty b big camera and all of them. I mean, it's Sony, it's been since forever, but the video quality, the image, the way that, that I would see video reviews um, back then, I felt like Nikon had the, the best colors and the best image out of it. I didn't think too much about autofocus back then. I mean, it was my first DSLR. I wasn't even thinking about autofocus. I think um, at that time, while I was in high school, I was taking some photography courses and stuff, and I was learning about manual focus because on 2013, 2014, it wasn't as popular as today autofocus it was a very important thing to learn to know manual focus and i did i most of my lenses were manual i didn't really have um lenses with autofocus i've always felt like nikon was the camera to go for the type of work i do and I still feel that way today. Um, I have a cousin who goes with me and helps me to, he's been helping me lately with some weddings and he takes the A camera and I take the B camera only because the B camera it's heavier and uh, it doesn't have any autofocus and um, everything is very very manual on that camera so it's easier for someone that is not experienced to use a nikon camera it, well he's done a really good job and he knows uh, uh he's not trying to be a videographer or know a lot about it but he's interested and and he helps me and he does a really good job but a lot of uh what the camera can do is about the the person using it more than the camera now today i feel like i can use a nikon d3200 up to a d3500 and i can make a really nice video out of it at least that's how i feel today and i don't feel i don't feel like i need to have the best camera and the best lenses to make something to look very nice and have this in mind i do believe that a really nice camera that has a lot of features like 4k 60 4k 120 
high dynamic range, really good um, file compressions and stuff like that. They can do a lot. Like they can help a lot. But I also think that someone without so much experience with a $3,500, $4,000 camera and lens is not going to do as much of a good job as someone with a $500, $800 camera and has all the experience. That's just how I feel. So we went to a wedding last Saturday. He's gone with me to a few water and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some of the videos here some of them I shot and some of them he did there there were times where the autofocus didn't perform as good while he was using the camera <laughs> and that's that's what I mean that it has to do a lot with the user I'm not the greatest um, videographer photographer or anything like that by any means i feel like there's a lot a lot of years that i have ahead to learn and learn every every six months every year i feel like i understand better my camera and the things that i'm doing etc but when he was using the nikon camera there were times where the autofocus wasn't working very well um meaning a jump back and forth between other people's and stuff but that's that that's a really easy fix i mean he had the full-time af uh which means that it's all the time trying to focus constantly and it's gonna try to focus the person that it's sometimes closer to the frame or more to the center of the frame and sometimes you want to compose have a certain composition on your image like like right now maybe i wanted my video to be this way and have something show on this part of the video and the camera mm, could try to focus what it's on the background but you can just fix that in the camera you can you can select the the settings that you want so that the autofocus behaves on the way that you want it to behave you can select so it tracks me so it tracks someone else so that the focus point stays on a place there's many things that you can do even that the camera is not perfect and i mean let's be honest there's never gonna be a perfect camera because if you have so many megapixels then it's not so good in low light but if you don't have so many megapixels you don't have so much room for cropping and etc. So in this case, I use the Nikon C62. I use the 28 millimeter 2.8 that came out this year. And I use the 50 millimeter 1.8, which I think it came like two years ago when the, or like at the time of the original C6 came out. And both of those lenses are really nice. Like I really like them, especially the 50, but the 28 is very, very, um you can you you have a lot of options of what you can do with the 28 because it's not as wide as a white lens but it's not as tight as a portrait lens as you can see here in some of these clips um the image is looking good uh the colors are nice and again well they're 8-bit video files they're still looking really good the light wasn't perfect. There was a lot of sun coming from the window and the lights weren't too bright inside. So, I mean, you can see for yourself, even that they're not these huge file sizes, the video is still looking really good. And that's what I love about this camera is that it doesn't, it doesn't require a big file. It doesn't require a lot. I mean, it's still a $2,500 camera. Let's be honest. But a lot of the comments out there is that that it's just bad or it's just not even a, a good camera. And that could be true to some point. And I'm not going to say that it's always 
the user's fault because other cameras have better features and it's true that Nikon's autofocus is not the best but for the type of work I do it works very well even in situations where you would think that it's not gonna work out it can be fixed in the camera almost all of those problems almost all of them I also went on a trip and um, I only use this camera and I got really nice looking footage very beautiful in my opinion the pictures are awesome I've never had like an overheating problem I've told you my settings many times I just shoot in the flat image profile that the camera has I don't really use the Atmos 5 anymore just because it's too much it gets heavy it gets tired pretty quick if I was gonna use my tripod and I wasn't gonna use or record for a long period of time I would consider it I would probably use it but in for wedding no no I don't need it so those are my thoughts about the Nikon C62 it's autofocus and performance in a real world environment I mean what more of a real world do you want than a wedding or traveling I think that works very well yeah let me know in the comments if you have any question uh, I will be happy to answer I will be more frequent on the channel as I haven't been lately so thanks for everyone that has stayed and new subscribers that are coming into the channel I really appreciate it I love this I love it I missed it so thank you again and I, I will see you in the next video see ya